Hello, you bearded bastards, and welcome back once again to Ailgarau, Red Vault. Where you may remember we're going through a bit of a situation currently. This forgotten beast has showed up and is right here at our doors underground in work cavity one. Now, I don't foresee this going over very well, frankly. Duke here breathes fire, which is going to cause us some serious trouble. Fire is no joke. It, it might make this entire level of the caverns, uh, well, I I'm not too sure. We'll see what happens. Okay, game is unpaused, and here goes the Duke moving away. There is a Martian down here. Oh no, and that poor bastard is toast immediately. Look at all that fire. This isn't good. If we're gonna fight this thing at all, we might have to give the Martians like shields or something. I think you can somewhat effectively block it with shields, but I'm not too sure about that. Regardless, as I said, this whole cavern is gonna, is gonna go up in flames. The flames have already begun to spread. Not good. All right. Well, up here in this tunnel, I have ordered a bunch of the squads to come down and man this tunnel because there are fortifications carved into the walls here, so they could potentially shoo out if the beast gets close enough. That being said, I, I did just notice that a couple of our Martians are over here, kind of like walking up at this door. They're out in the caves. I saw one of them shoot, but I'm not too sure where they're going right now. Oh, uh, here they go. They're, they're running away now, running and shooting at the same time as the beast emerges from the flames and moves towards them. It does not look like the Martians in that tunnel are firing. That is a damn shame. Well, okay, following the beast again. Oh yeah, here comes that fire once more. I have ordered those doors to be unlocked and the Martians are going to be coming out now. Our soldiers, that is, not just all the Martians, but... I guess we'll see how many can get out. That fire is spreading, there's smoke all over the place. And well, I guess we'll have to see what happens. Uh, we just kind of flung ourselves into this one here. Damn it. Yeah, it looks like, well, a couple of the Martians were able to get out. Oh, the beast fell down there, breathing fire. Um, A couple of the Martians got out of that tunnel and are now manning the ledge up above where Duke is right now, hoping maybe they can fire down. I guess we'll see what happens on that. I, I think the soldiers that were down here were just incinerated, pretty much. Looks like there's a couple of uh, civilians out here carrying logs. Not feeling too hopeful about their chances. Yeah, a lot of fire. But our soldiers are still fighting. At this point, the beast has taken some damage. I just took a look at the thing. Remember, it's it's got eight legs, and at least a couple of them are broken now. But that's not gonna that's hardly gonna do anything. Might slow it down a little bit. I'm not sure if the thing can feel pain. It might be able to though. It should be bleeding now. Hopefully, if it loses enough blood, it will certainly get weaker. This soldier here is really uh, dancing through the flames. I spoke too soon on that. Incinerated, seemingly. That's uh, no good. Rest a while, Martian. You died for Red Vault. Okay, well, the beast is just kind of down here, sitting in the smoke right now. Sitting, reveling in the destruction, I guess. But now it's moving slightly, sitting. Yeah, I don't know what the hell this thing's doing. Okay, all right, having a look uh, at its physical damage currently. Yeah, the creature, it must have caught on fire at some point. Its legs are broken, it's got many broken legs, bruises. Its head is melted. It's dripping blood from many different parts of its body right now. Uh, its upper body is melted. Its lower body is melted. Wow, you'd think this thing would be more resistant to flames, but I guess not. Having a look up above, yeah, we sent our squads over to this cliff, and there is one Martian over here, but they are basically engulfed by flames right now. Be careful, dude. There you go. Yep, stay away from that. You know what? I think that Forgotten Beast is trying to come back up, but it can't get past all those flames. Oh, where'd that Martian go? Did they die? Oh no, they're down here. They're clinging to the cliff to escape the flames. It looks like they're crawling down the side of the cliff face right here. Oh, that's remarkable. Be safe, Martian. Back to following the Duke over here. Well, it looks like they just found and destroyed a civilian, burst him into flames. You can see that soldier coming down the cliff face over there. Uh, but they just disappeared, hoping they climb down or up to safety. I don't know what the Duke is doing. You just see gouts of flame bursting out of this smoke. That's a terrible scene, it really is. Screams of the Martians. Frantic calls on the radio. Hmm. Having a look over here, that cliff climbing Martian is still hanging in there, literally. <laughs> I thought I saw them incinerated a couple times now. I'm not trying to get my hopes up over here because this Martian's chances are not excellent. But please hang in there, literally, again. Here's the Duke right here, looks to be headed back up. The fire up top seems to be dissipating now, which is excellent. Notice the blood coming out of the Duke right now. 
Oh, that's good. That's real good. We do have some Martians up to the north coming out of that door now. Oh, that's probably not for the best. Oh, flames. More flames. Ah, oh, come on. Kill this thing already, huh? These Martians are trying their best, but they can't seem to do very much. Oh, there we go. The Duke just went through that door and was bombarded by several shots from the Martians. Well, there's a lot of flame there, too. I think all those guys were just incinerated, or were at least set on fire. Yeah, this isn't going so well, I don't think. I am tempted to just speed things up a bit because watching all of the Martians be slowly incinerated is kind of painful. If not emotionally painful, then just because it's a pain in the ass, I gotta train up some new Martians now. I know that might seem cold-hearted to say, but you know, it's because of stuff like this, you gotta be a little cold-hearted, right? Can't get too attached. We should build a memorial shrine for these lost souls. Gotta keep morale high, but ultimately, it's a numbers game, my Martians. I just saw another Martian going through the front door there. I'm not sure if they got a shot off before being incinerated, but I did see a gout of flame once again. Yeah, not going so well. Having another look at this horrible, horrible beast. Um, yeah, it's melted. It sure is melted. Got broken legs, broken feet, broken everything, pretty much, and all of its fat is gone. So I think, yes, it did, in fact, get caught on fire at some point. And the heat melted off everything. So this is just a horrible looking monstrosity right now. Speaking of horrible monstrosities, uh, this entire event is one. I can't believe how poorly we're doing. This is really awful. Ugh, and speaking of awful, it's about to get worse, I think. Here we have Plam coming up, the captain of our entire military. She's coming up, she just, I think she entered the flames. Yeah, she's on fire, she's gotta be on fire right now. Damn it, such an end right there, just that quick too. You get a Martian you like, grow to really like them, and flames, ash, done. Not much you can do about it, I suppose. Are, are we ready to stop taking losses now? I certainly am. I think maybe we should just close up the caves, leave this stupid thing out here. Cause yeah, this isn't really going too well for us. All looks like I found some civilians down here actually. These poor bastards, they don't stand a chance. Look at all this fire. Wow, what the hell? Yeah, we, we can't do this anymore. We're losing too many. Oh my God, just looking at our military, we have five, six, and six members. So we've lost a total of 12 military personnel so far. A few civilians too. Population is down under 100 now. A little shocking. I think last episode we were up to, what, 130-something? Then we had those dragon things attack. This horrible thing. Okay, yep. I just ordered all the Martians to go up to our high security area. So, I guess I'm hoping they do that now. I'm talking all the Martians, too. Even our soldiers. Yeah, we're not fighting this one anymore. This, this was so bad. Holy hell. Here we go. Yep, yep. All you Martians, get inside immediately. Oh, and I am seeing, too. The Duke is trying to come up as well. I don't think so, my friend. Bastard. I really hope we got all of our Martians out of the caves. Because I am locking them up again. Just hoping we can do it in time. Actually, it looks like the Duke isn't too interested in coming in. Well, that's good. What a waste of time. I thought we could at least kill this stupid thing. Yeah, we got it all locked up down there. That creature can't get in. We can't get out. And that's just the way things are going to be, I guess. Down to 98 Martians. Lost someone else in that mess down there. Man, I know we should have used this room again, huh? Put our gunners up in the ceiling nice and, well, you know, I'm gonna say safe, but that might not necessarily be the case. I think that thing could have still shot fire up through the fortifications, which would have roasted all of our rail gunners immediately. That wouldn't have been good, but, I mean, we lost enough as it is. Had to have been worth a try. Well, at this point, it's too late anyways. Okay, well... Gonna have to clean up our military real quick. And so I'm thinking Na over here is going to be our new security captain. They've been in the Water Seekers since the very beginning. They were an adept rail gunner, one of only two adept rail gunners we have right now. Everyone else is pretty much still green. So yeah, we're just gonna thrust her into the position. I think she's gonna do all right, though I'm not sure how anybody could replace Plam at this point. Oh well, keep rolling forward. Let's go, Red Vault, pull it together. In light of us losing so many soldiers just now, and also our new policy of not going over 100 Martians, I think we're going to get rid of one of our squads. Um, yeah, we're going to get rid of the Water Seekers. They're the original squad, but that was kind of Plam's squad, so we're just going to get rid of them. Or, not get rid of them, uh, retire them. Water Seekers, retired. And we're also going to retire Walker Squad. Don't need them anymore. And we're going to set up a new squad with a sniper uniform named Fire Squad. Two squads, Fire Squad led by Na and Red Sword Guard led by Loga. 
our other adept railgunner, and now they're all armed with those sword-headed rail rifles. They've gotten to be pretty popular. And we also have a ton of them, so I figure, what the hell? Warning. Red. Full. Large organic body. Oh, gonna stop you right there. Nope, nope, nope. Not gonna do this one. You can stay the hell down there. Don't really have much interest, surprisingly. Yeah, can I just straight up lock up that layer of caverns? Cause I, we're not dealing with that one. That one could just stay down there nice and happy. Just leave us alone, you bastard. And there we go, all set, all locked up. That thing can't get to us. Yeah, not doing it, done. And so that being the case, Narverb, the new age red vault revitalization project that we've been desperately trying to continue on. Yeah, it's well underway up here. Actually, we're just finishing up digging out another layer as we speak. Yeah, this whole thing's coming along much faster than I expected it to, especially all things considered. I think we've only been going at it for, what, like a year or something now. I'm thinking it'll take maybe a couple more years, but we'll get there eventually. Our one main concern at the moment is that we'll get attacked by another one of those dragon things or something. Like right now, we don't have any access to the caverns. Okay, that's fine. We can't get fuel, which really sucks. But at least we could still trade. We have that. But if we have to close up the surface due to another attack, like a dragon thing, then what? We have to just sit inside. That's it. We'd be able to survive, but we couldn't continue our project out here. We couldn't trade. It'd just be boring. So, I mean, once our project's done, it shouldn't be much of a problem because like, well, as you can see, we're kind of making a big crater. It's going to be a big pit that we're in. And so I'm thinking it would be highly defensible with these high walls surrounding us like this. But like, it's going to take a while to get there, as I said. Just have to hope we're a little bit lucky. I think we've earned it at this point. Come on, Earth, work with us for a bit, huh? Oh my goodness. Okay, I don't know how the hell this happened, but we have a bit of an issue over here. This light missile walker crawling around on the ground. Yeah, this is Missy. Not doing too well, I'm not too sure what happened. But if we have a closer look, it looks like Missy's chassis is broken, her chassis is smashed open, and both of her feet are gone. What the hell? What even happened? That's horrible. Uh, it was probably just some creature that came in from the caves at some point. An ogre, I guess. I mean, I didn't really see much in the way of combat. I don't know when this happened. We have been kind of distracted lately, though. Well, she had repaired other issues she's had in the past, but I don't think she's going to be fixing this one. That's pretty monstrous. <laughs> Just has to crawl around now. Oh, actually, hold up a second. Um, this one's Missy. Never mind, never mind. Uh, okay, I thought it was weird that that one was in that pen there. That was just some other rando missile walker. This one here is Missy. And additionally, I forgot that we had assigned her to be taken as a pet. Remember that? That was a while back. Yeah, we, we said she was up for grabs. Anybody could take her. And so she's been taken and named too. Her new owner has named her Queshra which I'm not gonna be calling her. I can't imagine anybody's gonna be calling her that, except for her new owner. Yeah, okay, so Missy is good. Missy's here, doing well, just wandering around. Excellent. And this is her new owner, actually. Latern, one of our machinists. Well, you take good care of her, Latern. Don't let her lose her damn feet like that other one. That's, that's horrible. Luckily, they're just machines, right? <laughs> mm. Yeah, don't let that happen to her, okay? Well, over here we have an issue. Here we can see our broker, Glitty. Remember him? Father of the first Martian born in our fortress. He is not in a great mood currently. Very bad mood, actually. And I can't really blame the guy because unfortunately he lost his wife recently. I'm not too sure what the situation was exactly, but I don't doubt that she was one of the ones who was killed down in the caves. We did lose quite a few, and I wasn't really keeping the best track of everyone. Luckily, Wuritim, his daughter, is still doing fine, but can't really say the same for him. Yeah, very sour mood. Gonna be keeping an eye on him. Since that attack, I've noticed quite a few unhappy Martians. It's not a huge surprise. Just keeping you updated though. And a bit of good news. We recently had a bit of a commotion down here in Work Cavity 1. And at the end of it, the Duke was dead. Yeah, they've been causing quite a mess out here, burning everything down. There's been trees falling over, just throwing a real fit. But yeah, they were taken down by a missile drone. Just like that leech back in the day. Those things must be surprisingly tough. Killed the Duke the same exact way, too, with a shot to the head. It's really excellent. Though, that being said, there is another forgotten beast down here now. Hooky. Some sort of big... I don't know what the hell it is. Screw it, though. We're just not going in the caves anymore till we get some stuff sorted. Over it for now. And while we're still down here in the caves, I'd like to point out our water situation here. Haven't talked about it in a while. We still do have access to plenty of water. Just the thing is, well, that pond we were taking it from, it's completely drained. We drained it out and then that was it. 
but we did manage to get our reservoir filled for the most part, so that's good. Just other than this pool right here, I didn't see any other water in this cavern layer. And now there's a forgotten beast out there too, so we're not gonna be able to go out there anytime soon. This isn't an immediate threat, I don't think. Just figured I'd keep you updated. But anyways, that's all boring stuff, right? So mundane. Up here on the surface, Narverp. Oh, you know what, actually, before we get onto that, um, something I gotta mention. Right now it's mid-spring, okay? Right before this little time jump here, we were waiting for the merchants, and they never showed up. Just like last year. Remember that when we were waiting for Thread? They never showed up. They didn't show up this year either. It's not because they couldn't access the depot or anything, they just never showed up. And I have no idea why. We've been doing some really good trades with them too. It's a little worrisome. I hope they're okay, wherever the hell they are. But yeah, we haven't seen the merchants for a couple years now. Really strange. Anyways, yes, Narverp. Look at that, will ya? All this area dug out, it's quite a lot. Now if we go down just a little bit here, just one, two, that's where Red Vault is. Back up, one, two, the current layer of Narverp. So we're almost there, we are getting there. It's going very quickly. Now I'm gonna continue upwards, have a look. Up once, and you can see the Farmer's Guild, some nice new windows installed. Up again, you can see the farming level, and over to the northeast, you can see some new structures going to continue upwards though, just a little bit right here. You can still see those new constructions. Note the side of this crater wall here. We've carved it in a little bit, so it's like a cliff, right? So something couldn't climb straight down, they'd have to like go underneath the overhang if it wanted to come down. Makes it a little bit more difficult anyways. We have these new constructions over here, you can still see those. And you can also see the planned constructions in here, inside the Red Vault Tower. We're gonna make some luxury suites in there with some windows pointing out into the crater. I think that'd be very nice. That's a future project though. Going up again, the entrance of Red Vault, up again. And here you can see our new watchtowers, our new fortifications. Yeah, we've done quite a bit of work up here. Let's zoom in and get a closer look at that, huh? And there we have it, our fortifications. Now, you can see Red Vault in our old fortifications with the little uh, marksman range in there. That's pretty much unchanged, but we did extend it using these catwalks here over to our outer wall. And so now we have a bit more coverage of our entryway, which is just excellent. And also you can see these other catwalks leading away from Red Vault. They lead out over the crater to these towers of which there are four. Now the hope is that if we are ever attacked by something up in the northeast here anyways, we can take our Martians and station them over in those towers and they can shoot across. I think that'd be pretty cool. Again, that would probably be better for like sieges or something. And the way things are going, I don't really anticipate any of them showing up anytime soon, but I guess you never can tell. But yeah, things are advancing very quickly around here. Just digging things out. Look at them go, too. Just slamming through it. Our excavators are very good at what they do. Plenty of practice now at this point. Yeah, I can't imagine this whole thing will take more than another episode. We're pretty much done uncovering Red Vault. Exciting. Over here, you can see our luxury suites. Yeah, we did that pretty quickly, actually. We got it dug out. We're getting it smooth now. And you can see all those windows in place, too. Plenty of windows here. We want to be able to see that crater out there. That's going to be real good. Actually, you know what? One of these rooms here, I'm going to reserve it for Glitty. Our broker, remember we had addressed him earlier. Still in a terrible mood, again, can't blame him. But you know what, something else I noticed is that he is our site manager now, the leader of Red Vault. And I'm not too sure how long he's had the position either, but apparently everyone saw fit to put him in the position, so here he is. Yeah, he needs some better accommodations, that's for sure. We want to preserve this guy. He has a very good head on his shoulders and everyone can see it. Hence the vote. Yeah, we're gonna get right to work giving him some proper quarters. He's actually thrown a couple tantrums lately, too. He hasn't injured anybody, but the stresses are piling up. And it's only gonna be a matter of time if we can't get his mood under control. Poor fella. Hang in there, Glitty. Red Vault needs you. And in a final bit of news, right over here in our farming wing, we can see a big boy. That's right. Over here we have Ugo Tuasipio, who just received his first job duties. Isn't that something? He's so, I mean, that's... How old is he? 12, 13, something in there. Growing right up. Yeah, it's remarkable how much time has passed, really. But he's really coming into his own now. Figuring things out in this big scary world. Long night can't hold him back, that's for sure. Good job, Oogle. Hang in there. He's just a planter for now. It's a nice easy task for him, but I imagine he'll be a cook soon. Like Sweeno, his mother. Yeah, keep it up, buddy. Good job. And as a last, last bit of news over here, some not great news. It looks like Glitty was violent. Threw a tantrum and took out on another Martian. Our jailer, who we really beat the hell out of. Look at that, punched him in the rib so hard. One of their ribs went through their heart. It tore their heart and uh, it caused them to die. That was Fee Half. 
our jailer slash courier. Yeah, that's not great right there. Worse still, he threw another tantrum apparently and got in a fight with a light missile walker, Missy. And this time it was Missy too, I checked. He didn't damage her at all, but still, can we not please, sir? I don't even know what to do at this point. We did get him a nice new quarters down here. You see this? This is his room, dining room, and office now. So he should be all set there. I mean, it's not up in our Red Vault Tower, but we had to do something. So yeah, this is where he is. Additionally, I've taken off all of his duties, except for fortress management. That's it. He's a broker and a site manager, and I'm hoping that helps cool him down a bit. But I guess we'll see what happens. Hang in there, buddy. You'll feel better soon. Though we can't let him get away with killing somebody, right? Yeah, we'll figure something out. Oh, and would you look at that? One last, last bit of news here. It looks like the merchants have arrived, led by Anga Thrunt all day. That is something. What the hell, though? What happened? They've only come with a tiny number of merchants this time. Wow, what happened? That really is something. Well, we're going to have to wait till next time. We'll get a report from Angua for sure, and hopefully we'll get to the bottom of this. Very interesting. Yes, but for now, we leave Red Vault, and I will begin talking about some behind-the-scenes things. And so, what do we have? Hmm. Well, the first thing I'd like to talk about is the justice system in Dwarf Fortress. Glitty, our site manager, just murdered somebody, all right? Now, we do have cages available, so he could be thrown into one of those, or like if we had chains, you'd be chained up, or sometimes criminals get a beating, but like, I don't know, it always feels so weird to me. He's a murderer. Personally, I'd feel better if the justice system was a little bit less, uh, translucent, I guess I'd say. It doesn't seem to make much sense. Like, I don't know how things are decided most of the time. You know, I feel like if you're having a bad day and you go and you murder somebody, that should be a serious crime, right? Like, it'd warrant more than a beating, sure, but also maybe more than just a couple months in prison, too. <laughs> right? Ending someone's life just seems strange to me. I, as the player, could go and just take the guy and, like, you know, execute him if I wanted. Maybe that would be a fun challenge. You know, start a fortress with like a justice system in mind and just say that like for certain crimes you do certain punishments like that. That's one of the things I like most about Dwarf Fortress, just the variety of ways you could play it. Player imposed restrictions and challenges work very well in this game. And that's one of the things I like the most. Helps you get that mileage out of it. Replayability, huge factor. Hell, I've been playing the game every week for what? Five years now, making these videos? It's been a while, it's been a while. Oh, that Forgotten Beast, all that fire. What a mess. Yeah, kind of sick of it. You know, this current update of Dwarf Fortress is really good with the stress system. Your dwarves or Martians don't tend to get so stressed out, which makes me want to fight things a lot more, like back in the day. You know, with dwarves, you get them all armored up with their melee weapons. I suppose I could do that with the Martians too, just give them melee weapons, but the guns are fun, even if they are kind of deadly, you know, like deadly for the Martians, I guess. I could probably go about fortress defense in smarter fashion, you know, carving fortifications and setting up your ranged units in there. I kind of get that vibe from Long Night, that, like that's how you should be defending your fortress for some reason, not with just melee fighters, but again, you could play however the hell you want. Oh, one more thing too, we've had a big time jump in this episode. A couple of years have passed, which really is something. Yeah, it's speeding up a bit, which is really going to help with that construction project up top. I think that's, I mean, that's the main reason things have sped up so much. Kind of how it has to be though, if we ever want to see this thing completed during this series, unless the series goes on for 30 more episodes. <laughs> it won't, don't get your hopes up, but we'll see what happens. Play it by ear. I don't mind it when things get sped up. It's fun to see progress like that. Just really eager to see Narver come around. Should be pretty cool. Anyways, I suppose that's enough rambling for now. My bearded bastards, thank you for watching. I truly appreciate it as always. And I certainly hope to see you next time here in Ale Garau, Red Vault. And until then, you bearded bastards. <laughs>